As a craftsman, he can wield a pen in style, creating designs for ornate embroidery. Engelbert Eigner and his father are among the last leather workers practicing this special trade in the Berchtesgaden region. They make custom tailored buckskin lederhosen. At 24, Engelbert is preparing for his master craftsman certificate. He wants to carry on this typical Bavarian tradition. Hello everybody, I'm Engelbert Eigner, born in Berchtesgaden, one of the most beautiful spots in the Alps. What's unique about Berchtesgaden is its very special mixture of nature and culture. Now I'm going to show you Berchtesgaden as you've never seen it before. Engelbert's first recommendation takes us out into the wooded countryside. We're now in the magic forest on Lake Hintersee. What's unique about it is this bizarre landscape, with huge boulders in the water and at the water's edge. Here you can really relax and let yourself go. About 3,500 years ago, 15 million cubic meters of rock fell from the mountains and blocked off the valley. The water of Lake Hintersee found its way through the boulders. Over the millennia, a unique landscape was created, consisting of boulders overgrown with moss and covered with bizarrely twisted trees. This natural spectacle attracted travelers to the area around Berchtesgaden in the 19th century. Many painters found inspiring subjects here in the magic forest on Lake Hintersee. For Engelbert Eigner's next tip, we go back to Bechter's garden. He's taking us to visit a woodcarver. Because in the past people here couldn't earn enough from farming alone, they began to carve wood. And they made a name for themselves as skillful artisans. We're in Guggenberger's wood carving studio. This is Mario. Wood carving has a long tradition in Baptist Garden. And at Mario's, you always can look around a bit. He has all sorts of finished pieces, but he generally carves pieces to order. So, of course, you can order one too if you want. Mario Guggenberger is especially fond of making animal sculptures. But in fact, you can get all sorts of beautiful carved wood objects here. That includes depictions of local customs and characters, like this figure of a typical Bavarian folk dancer, even though this one still needs another arm. Engelbert's next recommendation also relates to Bavarian traditions. Now for my third and last tip. We're going to the Berchtesgaden Bräustubel. It's been here since 1645. It's one of the oldest pubs around. Lots of locals come here. Beer has been brewed in the Berchtesgaden Hofbrauhaus since the 17th century. In the evenings, local residents often gather to eat a typical Bavarian broadside here. That's a light meal featuring sourdough bread and all sorts of cold meat and cheeses. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a Berchtesgaden beer. Prost! <laughs>